I'm going to show you how to predict the structure of a molecular complex using AlphaFold from within Chimera X. Uh, until recently, AlphaFold only predicted monomer protein structures. But in November 2021, uh, the developers of AlphaFold released AlphaFold Multimer, which can pre predict complexes. So we're going to look at a, um, a complex from uh, Rhodobacter spheroids. It's a photoreaction center, and it consists of three different proteins. So let's see how to do it. I'm, re I'm using Chimera X. It's a daily build from December 2nd. You'll need a, a daily build newer than December 2nd uh, to do these predictions of complexes. It won't be in the Chimerax 1.3 release, uh, but it will be in 1.4 when that comes out. So we'll go to Chimerax menu tools, structure prediction, alpha fold, and it brings up this panel. And we're going to just paste in the three sequences of the three protein structures. Let me bring up those sequences. So I'm going to paste, I'm just going to cut and paste. The three sequences. Uh, I had it in a, as a FASTA file here. Whoops. Apparently I didn't copy it. Let me go back and get it again. And let me come back here and paste. And uh, I had, this looks like a FASTA file. It has some header lines. Those aren't, those should not appear in this box, only the sequences. So I'm going to delete those. And the sequences should be separated by commas. So I'm going to add a comma. The white space, the blank lines don't matter. We can have blank lines or not have blank lines. So delete those header lines describing each sequence. And I put in commas. OK, so we've got the sequences of our three proteins pasted in. And now we press this. Uh, well, not quite yet. It's going to protest this predict button, but there's a check button down here. It says, is prokaryote. This is a bacterium. It's a prokaryote. And so we're going to check that. This affects how AlphaFold runs and how it finds uh, sequ ortholog sequences. For prokaryotes, the genes of a complex are often right next to each other on the genome. And um, this prokaryotes, which AlphaFold takes advantage of that to find uh, sequences of the three proteins. Um, all right, so I press predict, and uh, this panel will come up, which is in fact just a web browser panel. I'm sorry, it, it just dropped here. I didn't want to drop it on that. Um, and when you do this for the first time, Google, instead of seeing what we see here, this little panel, this little dialog popping up, it's Google's going to ask you to log in. This is just login with like your the login you would use for Google email or Google Drive or any of the Google services because this calculation is going to run on Google servers. Once you log in once, then in future Chimera X sessions, you'll already be logged in. This is just a login to Google in just as you do a web page. This window that's popped up is just a web browser. Once you get through that, it will say we're running some code from Chimera X. It's not from Google. So we press run anyway. That's just a security message. And now uh, Chimera X has sent some instructions to a server at Google um, saying to install AlphaFold. Um, you'll see this. what's going to appear here is a log. It says we have three sequences. The total sequence length is 824 amino acids. Each of the proteins is 200 to 300 amino acids. And it's a prokaryote. And then it's going to install sequence alignment tools, alpha fold, energy minimization uh, using OpenMM. And then it's going to run sequence searches. Uh, and it's going to run the alpha fold neural network and predict structures. That's going to take five hours for this 800 amino acid um, complex. So it takes a long time. Uh, shorter, very small complexes of 100 to 200 amino acids take, even, take two hours. So all of the runs take a while. Let's, so we're not going to wait for that. Let's take a look at what the log output look, what appears. I've run this before, so let me show you what it looks like. So 
This is just a screenshot of the image of the log after it's run for the five hours. Um, so you'll see uh, all these numbers here. It's searching, it says here, 245 gigabytes of sequence databases to find multiple sequence alignments for each of the three proteins. And once it's got through searching uh, for one of the proteins, it, it shows a plot. This is residue 0 through 240 of the first protein, and it found about 2,000 sequences. At each residue position, it's showing you how many sequences it found um, aligning, aligning um, that cover that position. Um, so that's a lot of sequences. It then does the next protein. This one it found five or 6,000 sequences in the middle, uh, less towards the ends. And the third protein, it found 25,000 sequences in the middle, but only uh, a few thousand at both the N terminus and C terminus. You wanna see it find at least say 100 sequences. If it's less than 100, um, then the quality of the structure prediction is going to be impaired. Um, it uses these the multiple sequence alignment to look at um, how uh, the different uh, amino acids co-vary mutations that occur, um, which tells it where contacts between different residues occur. Here at the bottom, once it's done all that, it's going to run five neural networks. These are the, the real uh, heart of AlphaFold that will predict five structures. They were just five separately trained networks and it will give a confidence score to each and will energy minimize the one with the best confidence score. And that will be loaded into Chimera X. All right, so we're not waiting for that. Um, let's, uh, let's just, I'm gonna open up the structure. So that structure will be automatically downloaded. You wanna keep your Chimera X running for those five hours, come back to it, and hopefully it will have completed and loaded the structure. So when it does complete, um, it will automatically load the best structure. It also puts it in your downloads folder. So let me go to where in my previous run uh, it put that. So it's under downloads. Uh, I'm on a Mac here, but it, same on Windows. It will be on downloads, same on Linux. Downloads Chimera X. And then under, this is where Chimera X keeps all of the data it fetches from the web. We go to alpha fold. And then there's some directories that say prediction. If it's your first prediction, there'll only be one such directory. I've run 37 predictions. So it's actually this last one, prediction 37. And in here, you'll find the five different predictions it made. And this bestmodel.pdb is the, is the best, uh, the one with the highest confidence score. So I'm going to open that one. So here's what the prediction looks like. Uh, so um, when it opens automatically in Chimera X, it will color it according to the confidence. Each residue has a certain confidence score. Let me show you how to do this coloring now um, that we're loading it um, off from the downloads folder. I use the color command, color, uh, B factor. Okay, the scores, the confidence scores are put in the B factor column of the PDB file. Uh, I put the model number one, and I'm gonna say palette, alpha fold. This is just the alpha fold coloring scheme. The confidence values go from zero to 100. 100 is blue. And this is kind of an unusual case where it's all blue. It has very high confidence in almost all regions of this structure. The lighter uh, orangish, yellowish, and reddish colors are areas it's not so confident in. Okay, so it's very confident in this prediction. Uh, let's take a look at um, an experimental structure of this same complex. So uh, there's a PDB file determined by X-ray crystallography. That's 6Z1J. I'll say open 6Z1J. Okay, it's not aligned. I'm going to align it. Um, and I'll do that with a command. Matchmaker number uh, 2 to number one, align the experimental structure to the alpha fold structure. There we go. And you can see things look pretty good. To clarify things a bit or make it a little simpler, um, I'm going to hide the atoms up here in the toolbar. Press that hide atoms. 
and I think under presets here I'll choose a cylinder which will make the alpha helices cylinders to make it simpler still for the comparison and let me show you the three um, the three uh, proteins in different colors I can say um, color the experimental structure number two by polymer that means color each polymer each of the proteins a separate color okay here if I hide the alpha fold model so here's what the experimental structure looks like and then the overlay of the alpha fold model so incredibly close in this prediction that's not always the case uh, in the alpha fold multimer paper alpha fold multimer is the name of this uh, version of alpha fold that predicts complexes uh, they said about two-thirds of the interfaces were co predicted correctly in a benchmark of about 4,000 PDB uh, models. Okay, two, limit, uh, two or three limitations I want to tell you about. One is this sequence. The total number of amino acids here was about 800. That's about the maximum, or it's close to the maximum that you can run on these Google servers. It depends on the memory of the GPU, and the GPUs that Google gives you on these free servers are about five years old and only have about 16 gigabytes of memory. With a more modern GPU, uh, like a NVIDIA A40 or A, uh, A100 with uh, 40 gigabytes or 80 gigabytes of memory, you can predict bigger structures. But Google Colab isn't, isn't going to offer you those. You're going to have to run that yourself. Uh, another limitation is that Google Colab um, can limit the time that you uh, are allowed to connect to their server. Um, the maximum is 12 hours, but they can terminate your job uh, sooner than that. And so the run may not complete if you're uh, running a, a long sequence, you know, a total sequence length that's, say, more than 800 amino acids. Uh, even if it might have enough memory, uh, you might run out of time and Google shuts it down. Uh, and one last problem that this Google Colab service, it was using the 245 gigabytes of sequence data um, to find the multiple sequence alignments, whereas the full AlphaFold uh, uses two terabytes, uh, almost 10 times more sequence data. And um, so you may be interested, uh, and, and one, one further limitation, the Colab version doesn't use structure templates from the PDB, whereas the full AlphaFold version described in the paper does use the structure templates of the individual monomers. Um, so for all these reasons, you may want to run AlphaFold yourself if you're doing some serious uh, structure prediction work. It requires a high-end GPU, Linux. Uh, it's not that easy to set up. So Chimera X might be a good starting, and Google Colab a good starting point. All right. Um, Let's see, I, let, me, let me mention one additional thing that I don't have to show you right now because it's not ready. But um, AlphaFold predicts the confidence of the um, distances between every pair of residues. And if we show a heat map of that, um, of the 800 residues against the 800 residues, um, you will see in cases where it makes a good prediction, the heat map will show high confidence in all those residue distances. But if the interfaces are wrong, you'll see whole blocks of the heat map where the confidence is low. And so this heat map can be very useful in deciding whether AlphaFold's prediction uh, is a good one when you don't have an experimental structure. I'm going to be working on adding that to Chimera X, but it's probably not going to be in there till uh, Jan maybe January 2022. Thanks for listening.